meat spin duck. No! 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 Next video we're gonna look at is oh my god y'all we're gonna go watch part two of the internet's fucking strangest websites i don't know why i really enjoyed watching this video last time i'm not doing that fucking tier list my nigga don't don't let me don't don't even ask me to do that tier list again my nigga okay internet strangest websites part two so let's see that's the internet's strangest websites. In this part two, we'll be taking a look at obscure and favorite video, and that's the internet's strangest websites. In this part two, we'll be taking a look at obscure, funny, and downright <coughs> horrible websites. Anything from Skyway Bridge Reports, the Heaven's Gate Cult Site. Yo, that's uh, that's uh, 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 that's eternal take. That's eternal take. That's eternal take. That's eternal take. Horrible websites. Anything from Skyway Bridge Reports, the Heaven. That's eternal. Who's gonna say uh, suit them niggas, bro? They they really they really draw can swag real cool. They really draw can swag. You know what I'm saying? That's a turn old take, bro. It's a turn old take. Vince Gate. Oh yeah, bro, go to ass. To whatever the f this is today, we will be talking about the internet's strangest websites. I also want to mention that if this video somehow gets 100,000 likes, then sure, I'll go back onto the dark web and make a part two to the dark web version. Which I'm going to watch the dark web more. version too. Anyway, make sure to sit back, yeah, dude, relax. Let's it, get man. started. Y'all tell me, video. yo, y'all stop asking me to watch that fucking dumbass fucking shit, my nigga. Like, come on, my nigga. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 800,000 Shout out to him, 800k, that's a fire. Let's get into the video. My Patreon member, try and the video. Pink meth. Revenge is the concept of sharing an... ex-partner's nudes publicly without their consent. Pink Meth, which was originally a site on the surface web before switching to the dark web, was the main website for this. With the option to submit images anonymously, some posts even included contact information and links to social media profiles of the victims. But what if a girl found out she was on the website and didn't want her images on the website? Well, luckily there was a removal request form, but it wasn't really. It was just so that the people reading could get an even bigger Bro. You can't. This this shouldn't be a site. Like yeah, that's that's definitely illegal. I'm. A, that's why it's a dark website now. Trying to get her images off the website. This is what the form read. Click the link below to submit a story containing 500 to 2,000 words explaining how your personal information and images got leaked, and teach a hooch to cover her cooch so she doesn't have to explain to her coworkers or sorority sisters why her quote intimate moment with the love of her life or drunken one night stand is now making strangers around the world reach for the lotion and Kleenex. Pink meth loves slutty smart chicks, so share your. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. With a few solid tips on how you can let your freak flag fly while keeping your naughty side. I knew these sites was weird, but like. profile will be removed. Plus, you get that warm, fuzzy feeling that only comes from screwing yeah. bitches or a great orgasm. The site was seized in November 2014 as part of Operation <laughs> Anonymous, a multi agency. Man, we got, they got that man out of here. Shut down of over two dozen dark websites, Pink Meth being one of them. Though I could not find the original creator of Pink Meth, and if. Now that's a sick site, charged, I'm not gonna lie. But for comparison's sake, 27 year old Kevin Bolliler, owner of YouGotPosted.com, another revenge site. Do we see? Do we? Hold on, my camera's a little too big. Do we see the type of type of individual that we're dealing with here? Like, do y'all see the y'all see the snaws? Y'all y'all see the. Bro, what the? <laughs> y'all see the snaws on, bro? This is just about this is ju this is just about what I expect. Was charged with 31 felony counts of conspiracy, identity theft, and extortion, resulting in 18 years in prison. Damn. I ended up in mental hospitals twice because of this, and recently just had another break. Yeah, I, I just um, about expected. Didn't end up in the hospital, but I'm medicated and everything, which has been helping. But it's just, it's been so tra traumatizing, and I just want my life to get back to the way it was. He does. Yeah, facts. He doesn't. There's no way he does. Hosanna1.com. This website is definitely one of, if not the strangest website on this list. I mean, I could have an entire video talking about this one. From what it seems, this is. Yo, these sites be. These are the type of sites that. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. This side looks this side looks terrible. This side looks this side looks awful. This side looks terrible, bro. I'm not gonna lie. This side looks terrible. Was an Afghan hound breeding registry where one would visit to schedule breeding the dogs or simply buy the litter. Like the whole site, like it hurts my eyes to look at this. To be fair, it was created in 1999, but even for that time period, the website looked like this. We believe that Afghan hounds are. Yo, this I like like looks works. Visit our Hosanna Afghan hounds homepage to view about a dozen pages with dozens of beautiful photos of our wonderful hounds. The Triple A and Triple A World Wide Web publishing stands for Afghans, Afghan. Afghans, since we have so much experience, yeah, you can tell they're trying to make 1999 to showcase them. Browse the pages we've done for ourselves and others, see what triple A, triple W can do for you. Then it proceeds to talk about God. I thought this was for dog breeding. Look, I'm sure we're not gonna, nah, that's that like, look, soon, but I'll just show you the you're trying to take a day trip to Iraq with me, yo. I'm trying to read the chat. Hey, if somebody put it as somebody standing in the chat, just talking about like y'all not about to. Y'all not about to keep spamming hashtags in the chat. When I tell you something, just just, just keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Moss, from this point on time, anybody out who, who just continuously spamming. The weirdest things I found on this website. Clicking the main dog gif on the website leads you like, to a YouTube channel. be annoying, bro. We like, like, move on. Their channel seems pretty normal and wholesome, but the website is so fucking weird. Yo, what, what am I looking at? Off the Afghan hound certificates. Their channel seems pretty normal and wholesome, but the website is so fucking weird. I dumped Twitter, deleted my account and the app off my phone the day after they dumped my president. The best president in my lifetime. If he wasn't good enough for Twitter, Twitter is sure not good enough for me. I will never touch TikTok with a 10 foot pole. It is owned by the Chinese Communist Party. I also dumped Amazon and avoid Google as much as possible. I, I use DuckDuckGo. Y'all, what search engines that we that you y'all you y'all GoDaddy y'all using Google y'all using Bing? If y'all using Bing, call the rap, call the rap, DuckDuckGo, Internet Explorer. Are you serious, Tommy? Internet Explorer in 2022 is crazy. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of that's kind of crazy. Internet Explorer in 2022 is actually fucking a crazy. That's a crazy. That's some crazy shit to be using, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Firefox. Firefox is fucking crazy too. I'm not gonna lie. Oprah GX. What the fuck is that? Opada G. What the fuck? What is that? I've never heard of that in my fucking life. Hey. Linda Farley, God's child, mom of six, grandma of 21 so far, and a charter member of the vast right wing conspiracy. It seems like the owner is just someone's grandma, which is why the website layout is so old. I mean, she got a jukebox section yo, and an art yo, car section. Yeah. They got yo. the Great Side Award. Look at that. That's the that effect. was a disgusting ass sound effect. Great Side Award. Is the website wholesome? Is it strange? Is it creepy? I think it's you Yahoo? Awesome. You're using fucking Yahoo in 20s? Okay. Poopsenders.com. Why every video we gotta do some shit like this, bro? Oh my god, bro. Every time, dog. Every single time, bro. Every single time, bro. Every single time, bro. Um, ever wanted to send shit to someone through mail? I don't know if I wanna look at this through video. Y'all going Well, now you can. Poop senders refer to themselves as the ultimate gag gift. This is disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. This is actually it's sick as well. It's guaranteed to be anonymous, and all you have to know is the person you want to send it to is address. You have the options of cow poop, Elephant poop, gorilla poop, or even the combo pack. Now you're. Yes, I before I before he says that, I'm wondering how these niggas are obtaining these, uh, these heaping amounts of shit to send the people. Probably wondering how the fuck do they get the poop? In their frequently asked questions section, it says that one of their staff team members goes to a local dairy farm and zoo about twice a week. I mean, their website's been active since 2007, so I'm sure business is booming. But is this even legal? Well, yes. Poop is non-hazardous. You just can't use their service to threaten people. But bruh, you know damn well the only people you would send this to is someone that deserves it. Let me know if I should order some and uh, unbox it on my second channel. Yeah, I'm asking you guys if you guys would like to see me unbox poop on my second channel. By the way, I have a Last time I think it was called Poop Something, but there's a whole different site. I'm chasing down a nigga <laughs> be they ass. No, nah, like at that point, bro. If I see somebody, like, if I catch somebody, I, it has a return label on who sent it, bro. It's going to be fucking hell to pay. I'm not going to lie. Everybody that's sick. <laughs> Do anything for clout. You send poop to somebody's house. <laughs> Yo, you're fucking sick. The second channel where I post anything I want. In case you guys are interested. Make sure to go subscribe to that. Meatspin. No! No! No, 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 no,
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, bro, no, 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 nigga, holy shit, bro, oh my god, meat spin, bro, no, bro, oh my god, bro, oh my god, dog, yo, yo, oh my god, bro, oh my, it's on YouTube, I can watch this, bro. Um, Meat Spin was a part of a collection of shock sites from back in the day. Back in the day when you got a random Meat link and you didn't have to no. worry about Please getting- Please get back. Yo. Your IP grabbed. <laughs> Instead, you just worry about a Rickroll or even worse, a Rickroll with a different link. But being sent a link that said Meat Spin on it, who wouldn't want to click that? And- who would? Well, oh uh, how do I say this without being demonetized? <laughs> this is gonna be one of the weirdest explanations of my life. Okay, are you guys ready? It's no. a man helicoptering. Ah! You guys know what the helicopter that move that only guys can do. So this is guy helicoptering another guy that he's sitting on. <laughs> Dog, what's wrong with niggas, bro? In the world, like it's a, it's it's such a fucking evil fucking world that we live in bro that this is like ah bro ah it's such a fucking disgusting sick world that we live in my nigga like this is oh, Do, they doing the thing right they doing the thing and he just helicoptering and his thing is just 360ing y'all gotta give me some credit because i am a good explainer bro when it comes to like not getting demonetized i am great at this anyway the video was like one second and it would just loop there was a counter at the bottom noting it's how many still up and it's, it's, that's the thing it, it really is still up and running in 2022 colin's like that is crazy it says here that the world record is 10 million 112 spins. i do it internet shock sites Wait, what? Spins you sat through it says here that the world record is 10 million one Spinning the meat that much, dog? No! Whoa, oh my god, yo. Bro, he had that, that joint yeah. up in the background. Yeah, like, he's dead as fuck. It just ain't no funnies. Oh my god, what the hell, boy? Hell no, nah, man. I don't know what the fuck going on, bro. Hell, heller. Man, what the fuck, bro? Nigga, that's like ab that's abnormal. That's not even regular, bro. Yo, yo, yo. There was a counter at the bottom noting how many spins you sat through. It says here that the world record is 10,112 spins. Internet shock sites are a glorious part of internet history, and I even debated making an entire video based on them, but that's not really a smart idea considering the whole video would be me explaining things how I just did, and that's not really that fun, is it? But join me as we read some of the titles of other sh shock sites. I'm probably gonna have to blur some of these guys, so wow. I'm only gonna read a few of them. So we have a shock button, nut abuse. Oh no, bro. BME Pain Olympics. Lemon Party. One of my personal favorites. I can't even say that. No, actually, no. Not one of my personal favorites. Two guys. Oh, no, no, no. I've seen the one under it. I, I've seen one man, one draw. I'm not going to lie. I see, I've seen it. I've seen one man, one draw, bro. I, I didn't want to see it, but I've seen it. The bro. top. The top right. Well, not the top right. The one under it. Yo. <laughs> Yo, yo, and half of this shit is blurred out. Imagine the shit that isn't blurred, bro. This is like, this is like the tame shit, bro. Two kids, what's in my One man with jar is crazy. Yo, I, I'll, I'll never recover from that shit, bro. Goat C. We have one man, one jar. Yeah, I'm gonna stop there. I don't wanna. <laughs> Turdgasm? What, what is turdgasm? Dog, dog, dog. Never look. I'm not gonna look it up. Like, I'm in the point in life where if somebody's like, don't look at this, I'm not going to look at it, bro. Anyway, I want to make it clear I don't even wanna know. that I'm not going to be providing links to the 18 plus websites. I literally can't. I think that's against YouTube's terms of service. When you go down to the list on the document, there will not be the 18 plus websites. Only the ones that are appropriate for me to link. Pointer Pointer. Pointer Pointer is a 2012 website created by Studio Moniker Yo, that my looks head, like a picture bro. of someone pointing at your cursor wherever it lands. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty innocent. It's pretty funny. I like it. It's pretty fun, but it gets boring after a minute. The images don't look like they were ripped from Google, but rather a collection of images that were taken by a college student. I wonder... How bored do you have to be in life to be doing this shit, my nigga? Like, you gotta be a bored-ass nigga to just be doing this shit constantly and constantly. Like, like you, like... If the creator was the cameraman, yeah. and if he just went around college shitty, campus, like, hey, yo, can you quickly point for a, for a picture? <laughs> While I was reading about this website, it actually said that the creator makes the website load in, like, a little suspense, because he said that he could do it really fast. Like, when you drag the cursor, it would actually load in all the pictures instantly. But he said it wasn't good suspension-wise, so, yeah, let's move on to the next one. 
Hashima Island. Hashima Island is an abandoned island off. Yo, motherfucker, this look like Alcatraz, goddamn. Holy shit. Nigga, this is where these some squid games. What the fuck? Nagasaki, lying about nine miles from the center oh, of the damn. city. Nagasaki, that's tough. It is one of the 505 uninhabited islands in Nagasaki Prefecture. The island's most notable features are its abandoned buildings, undisturbed Holy nature, shit. and surrounding sea walls. Fucking Call of Duty map, though. The rapid like, this, there's space. no way. This gotta be a fucking COD map, my nigga. Like, this, this don't even look real. Like, this image specifically does not look real, my nigga. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. In of Japan, We're it is also remembered of Japanese war crimes and the forced labor prior to and during the Second World War. During World War II, the history of the Yo, island the is dark. What the fuck you doing here? That's picture from fire. I ain't gonna lie. Policies exploited enlisted Korean civilians and Chinese prisoners as forced laborers, made to work under harsh conditions. It's estimated that over 1,000 workers died on the island between the 1930s and the end of the war as a result of unsafe working conditions, malnutrition, and exhaustion. The Damn. website opens up with this statement: Welcome to Hashima. Island. On 27th June 2013, Google released brand new street views of a forgotten world off the coast of Japan in Nagasaki Prefecture. Take a haunted trip through history and discover the secrets and myths hidden amongst Hashima Island's mysterious, desolate landscape. It seems like a video game with eerie music playing in the Yo, background what the and black and white. Fuck? You can visit the Google Maps version as well. This website only modifies it to make it scarier and provide important facts about the history. Very sad and haunting at the same time. Hey guys, uh, in real, chat, in real live stream, in real live stream, the Hashima Island, in real live stream, we, 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 we gonna go chat, you wanna take a field trip to Hashima Island? You saying we, I definitely won't be there. Nah, come on bro, I go, you gotta go, so I gotta record me, I can't record myself, well I can't, but I don't wanna, I'm coming, yeah, we gotta go pull up to Hashima Island for the one time, Hashima Live, I sure ain't going, oh my god, yo, this shit go, be a live leak, yo, uh, okay, uh, you, you gotta do it, I mean, Imagine doing that for a club, my nigga. Like, I ain't gonna lie. The radiation over there is probably so bad that you're gonna die as soon as you touch the island in GTA. I gotta walk by this. Oh, he capping. That's it, crazy. We. Skywaybridge.com. A sadder one on this list is Skywaybridge.com. This website keeps track of all the committed at the Hillsborough County oh, wow. Sunshine Skyway Bridge since 1954. Wow. You can search by name, check out the camera footage, and leave tips and comments on threads about certain events. The website is dedicated to have everything you need to know regarding incidents and accidents. Wow. That what the not fuck? visiting the website if you're in a bad mental state, and that goes for some of the other websites in this video. So if you're in a bad mental state, I really do not suggest visiting these websites. Just, uh, just want to make that very clear. Thisman.org. I'm sure we've uh, all seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we've seen this. I've seen it. I don't even like looking at this nigga's face, bro. I don't even like looking at this nigga's face, bro. This man. And if you don't know what the story behind this man is, here it is. It's like January, you, you see him in your dreams or something. Like you always see this nigga in your dreams. Like you have seen him in your dreams at some point. In New York, the patient of a well-known psychiatrist draws the face of a man that has been repeatedly appearing in her dreams. In more than one occasion, that man has given her advice on her private life. The woman swears that she has never met the man in her life. The portrait lies forgotten on the psychiatrist's desk. Yeah, I've never seen this nigga in my dreams one day, ever. Another patient recognizes that face and says that the man often visited him in his dreams. I ain't gonna lie, this nigga has no fucking drip. Like his hairline, everything. Like this nigga just has no drip. He also claims he has never seen that man in his waking life the psychiatrist decides to send the portrait to some of his colleagues that no have patients with recurring no issues like within a few months this man has patients no recognize the man as a frequent presence in their own dreams all the patients refer to him as this man from january 2006 until today at least 2000 they've seen this man in their dreams in many cities all over yeah, the, world. the fuck out this Los nigga Angeles, bro. berlin sao paulo tehran beijing Rome, Barcelona, Stockholm, Paris, New Delhi, Stockholm. Moscow, etc. At the moment, there is no a certain relation or common trait among the people that have dreamed of seeing this man. Moreover, no living man has Yo, ever been- this nigga is fucking ugly, bro. Yo, this nigga is ugly as shit. I'm glad I didn't see you in my dream. That shit would have been a nightmare. I would have slapped the fuck out this nigga by seeing this. This nigga is fucking ugly, bro. Like, no funny shit. Not even, I don't know, like, I'm not even trying to be rude or nothing. But, like, like, no, like genuinely, like, he's fucking disgusting looking, my nigga. Like, like, come on, bro. I'm glad I see you, my nigga. Holy shit.
recognize the, <laughs> of the man of the portrait by the people who have seen this man in their dreams. The aim of this website is to help those who have seen this man in their dreams and to foster communication among them. To understand <laughs> what this man is and why he appears in an apparently patternless array of situations in the dreams of such diverse human subjects. Though this whole thing was a fucking lie and found out to be a hoax. Dude, and I ain't never, never seen that nigga. watching this video and said, hey, I've seen that. No, you're just, you're lying. You're a bandit. Nobody in my chat said that. Oh yeah, I've seen that bald ass fucking receding hairline ass nigga. Nobody has seen him. Nobody has seen him wagon person stop it he's not real upon this man's initial widespread exposure there was suspicion from not only 4chan users but also blogs like ask me and io9 that it was I'll a guerrilla marketing on. stunt this man.org was hosted by the same company that also hosted a site named guerrilla marketing.it a fake advertising agency which designed subversive hoaxes and created weird art projects exploring <laughs> politics and advertising all right so from what i've researched eventually someone from the company was a <laughs> came out and was like nah this was a stunt guys i'm sorry so it was a full admission see like, like ain't nobody see this nigga don't believe everything that's on the internet internetlivestats.com in part one we spoke about another stats website and that focused mainly on life and death yeah the this people who died and shit more, i guess yeah. common situations such as internet users in the world google searches damn damn email sent damn damn attack CO2 admissions today. Yo, whoever make this site gets no bitches. There's no, like, there's no, like, whoever gets this site has absolutely no bitches to be running this site. Like, you worry about what everybody else doing. You worry about what another nigga doing. And you ain't getting bread yourself. Like, I know you're not getting bread off this. Like, you're just doing it. Like, this nigga gets no bitches, bro. Whoever makes this site. Like, Such as internet users in the world, Google searches, email sent, yeah, websites like hacked, internet traffic, CO2 emissions, and a lot more. It also has awesome visualizers to really give you an idea of how fast something is happening. Now, how do they get these stats? I'm 99.9% .9 sure they're just estimates. They're not real. It's not like they're tracking whenever women have babies, no, he gets, right? No, he they're gets no just bitches. estimates. Just like a little scope on Heavensgate was an American new religion. I'm telling you, bro, bro, they stole from Uzi. Hey, bro, Uzi, get your gift back. They stealing that shit no. from you, bro. Yeah, they stole, really they stole the that shit. Yeah, yeah, they stole that shit. Now, I know, I, I remember this. Uzi had like a whole lawsuit or like shit with them. That's why he couldn't use his cover because apparently it's like a cult or something or something like that. Often described as a cult and was founded in 1974 and led by Bonnie Nettles and Marshall Applewhite, known as T and Doe. Nettles and Applewhite. They first met in 1972 and went on a journey of spiritual discovery, Fucking identifying nigga, themselves man. as the two witnesses of a revelation and attracting a following of... Yo, that quality is fucking scary as fuck. In fucking war two quality. The group stopped recruiting and instituted a monastic lifestyle. Scholars have described the theology of Heaven's Gate as a mixture of Christian millenarianism, new age, and ufology. The central belief of the group was that the followers could transform themselves into immortal extraterrestrial beings by rejecting their human nature, aka committing... Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Sent to heaven, cold, referred to a as cold is cold fucking crazy. Level. Make a cold the death of yeah. to Nah, that's weird. I ain't gonna lie. Challenged the group's views on ascension, where they originally Go believed they were sent to heaven while alive aboard a UFO. Later, coming to believe that the body was merely a container or vehicle for the soul, and their consciousness would be transferred to new quote, yeah. next. This level. is a chat. What song? What song? Like 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 song? What have you like this? What song? What have you like these? What song? What have you like like these? Floating out out of body experience. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Ghost how he, okay. yeah. I think he's been chug up. Bro, are we are we living in a dream? Yo, T out, T out. Who we has the song just lead? Sonic Underground theme. Any XX and Tassian song? Okay, Road to Riches. Yo, come on, bro. Through the late night, bro. I'm not supposed to be here. Nah, I feel that. I feel that there be songs that be having me like out my body, like I just feel like I'm floating. I know y'all remember that one nigga who was floating in that meme. That's how it be. I'm telling y'all, any Pink Panther song, yo, she's fire. I'm not gonna lie. Any he eats song, <laughs> when the, when the uh, low score, this when the bell hit. That's how it be when the bell hit and he eat song. Okay, talk your shit then. Any Ice JJ Fish song. On March Pursuit 26, of Happiness by Cuddy. Talk to oh, that's the W. Of the San Diego County Sheriff's Department discovered the bodies of 39 active members of the group. Including that of Applewhite in the house. Holy in the shit! That's what I told you. Don't fuck with cults, bro. They going. It's going to end in your death, my nigga. Like, don't like everybody in the cult is crazy. Rancho Santa Fe. They had participated in a mass.
Just before the massacre, the group's website was updated with the message, Hail Bop brings closure to Heaven's Gate. Our 22 yeah, years in the classroom here on are fucking is wild. Like, it's just crazy. Graduation from the human evolutionary level. We are happily prepared to leave this world and go with T's crew. The website is just so creepy looking at now. 30 something bodies, you say? Cult, and these members they play Fortnite in <laughs> What we're browsing <laughs> now to yeah. eventually leave this earth together. Yeah, hey guys, this video is brought to you by Atlas, Atlas VPN. VPN. You guys are gonna want. See, bro, I need. Hey, Atlas, Atlas VPN, VPN, hit me up, dog. About visiting strange. Atlas websites. VPN, hit me up, bro. Yeah, I, I'm a, or I'm gonna hit y'all up. Hey, Atlas, I need you, bro. Come on, bro. Booba. So this one what actually. What the fuck? What the what the fuck? It doesn't have like a booba.com. Someone had to re-upload the website, so the website doesn't actually uh, still exist. But we have a copy of it. Booba say? was a Booba. British Booba. preschool television. What the fuck? What the fuck am I looking at? ...series that premiered on ITV in 2003 and later on Nick Jr. UK in 2005. As a kid, I fucking love this show, and now doing what? research on it, I don't even know how I got access to it, considering it's a UK show, and I'm just a- The UK? Y'all coming like these in it, Mike? Oh, bloody hell, Mike. And, and, uh, but, but, man, you're, you're ruining it. Like, man, what the fuck is that? In it, bro. Well, at least... We go that like nigga, damn. Do like Taylor Swift, foreskin do all shit. In it, mate. In it, bro. Piss off, mate. Like, come on, man. Mexican from California. You can tell it was made to stimulate a baby's brain with all the bright colors, what the weird fuck? noises, that shit's and creepy. lack of real words. And oh yeah, those alien things, aka boobas. They had a boobas. website for children, and oh boy. Looking back at it, this seems like a full-on drug trip. Yo, it's not really a goal. Yo, what you just click stuff, and it gets your brain stimulated. I just think that yo, the sounds of the look at this, are fucking creepy. If you're not a baby, this website should earn a spot on your "I'm never visiting this again." Yeah, I have no reason to go there. Columbinesite.com. Their homepage states what their website contains. A Columbinesite.com. Their homepage states. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Chatty up. 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 What their website contains perfectly. The oldest Columbine research site on the internet. A Columbine site archive is dedicated to those who were injured and those who died in the Columbine High School incident in Littleton, Colorado on April 20th, 1999. This website deals with the grim facts of what happened that day. Yeah, I don't even see, I don't even want to know about the details. I don't even want to know the details regarding this and surrounding this, bro. Even though, like, in middle school, he had this joint called Rachel's Challenge. I don't know if y'all had seen that or whatever, but it just basically talked about what happened at Columbine. I don't even want to know. The details that be happening to it, because the niggas who did it got, got like, they get no bitches, my nigga. Like, they got no bitches. That's why motherfuckers doing that shit. Bro, I don't even want to, like, I don't even want to know the details from that bitch, nigga. Like, I just know what happened, bro. Stark look at the actions of Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold and the consequences they have followed. Motherfucking name Eric. Mountain of information here about the victims. Like, this is like, bro. Video. Like, bro, hold on. Look at this. Look, this look, this look, this look, this look, this look, this look, 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 like look at him, bro. Here about the big, yeah. Where did it lose? Videos and news clips from the event. There are transcripts from the gunman's videotapes and basement tapes. Right, and news, on, bro. Look at these niggas, bro. You'll also find the shooter's diary. We're gonna shoot on him. Files, perhaps, Doom 2. Like, ain't you writing in cursive, bitch ass nigga? His journal, you were writing a handwriting fucking awful. It's not good cursive either. Like, motherfucker is, is voluntarily writing in fucking cursive, my nigga, and not good. How your cursive look ass, my nigga? Like, come on, bro. Bods and websites and thousands of official documents such as autopsy reports and crime scene photos. Everything that happened before, during, and after the tragic massacre, so we'll never forget. So if you've come looking for information about the Columbine shooting because you're doing research or just want to know what happened, proceed with caution. Some content yeah, is graphic and disturbing. I don't understand. Yeah, I can't even read that shit, bro. Barry, typer the kid and ass, Hacker Typer. Hacker Typer allows you to live out your wildest dreams of hacking into someone's computer Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Yo, chat, don't do this. This is not that, y'all, y'all cannot do that. Bro, you can, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. You cannot, you can legally not do that, my nigga. You can legally not do that, my nigga. Your IP mine, nigga. I don't give a fuck, my nigga. The fuck, nigga. Is he up, bro? BRB, I think your computer looks nice. Yo, shut the fuck up, my nigga. Sealing their social security. Yo, like this, this, I'm not gonna lie, there's no way, is the, is the, Miles, is the music still playing on, on that shit? The little shit? No. Nah. Alright, there's no way, 
No doubt they use a VPN. Shit, nigga. Y'all know, shout out my niggas at NordVPN. You know what I'm saying? Always get me right. But, <laughs> wait, what's your spec? I used to be on this at school. There's no way this is still up. SA typer, hacker typer. Like, there's no way that this realistically, so I've never heard of this. Identity. Put out your wildest dreams of hacking into someone's computer, stealing their social security number and identity, then moving to America, dyeing your hair red, and proclaiming yourself as a YouTuber. And SA Bruh. Typer is exactly what it sounds like. You can type any subject onto the search bar, well, almost any, and this website will generate a pre-written essay and allow you to make it seem like you're the one typing. <laughs> I hey. used that a while ago. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, they might be on to some. They, 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 they might be on some chat. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this might, this might be some. Hey, might, was it, hold on, wait, what was the end? Let me find. Yo, I do not condone cheating. You said I what? I do not condone cheating. Do not cheat. Do not cheat, guys. Essay typer and cool. hacker typer. Hacker typer gotta make sure. you to live out your wildest sure. dreams of hacking into someone's computer hair like. You can type any subject onto the search bar, well, yeah, yeah. almost any, uh, and this yeah. website will generate Holy a shit. pre-written essay and allow you to make it seem like you're the one typing even though you're just button mashing. Not really ideal since this is blatant plagiarism. <laughs> but I remember in middle school I had a substitute teacher and you know substitute well chat if you're in elementary school it might work middle school it might work if you're in high school college I don't recommend doing this don't cheat though guys don't cheat though but like yo miles is acting on the site bro yo miles get off the site before I hack your shit my nigga yo come on bro Say this is why we use the music so you guys I do not condone cheating in any way cheating is remember guys just do all the work yourself you'll feel better at the end of the day you'll feel better about yourself if you do the work guys if you do your own work and don't cheat off everybody it'll make you feel better about hey, yourself man, shut the fuck up <laughs> bro oh shit yo somebody told me to go on beat spin Bro, I cheated every time this man is So he was just walking around the class, making sure that everyone was working. He was just glancing at the Chromebooks. So you know me, I would switch over to essay typer, button mash. You know, I kind of feel bad for him because he was an old fella. But uh, that's what you get for being old. I can't say that, bro. Yeah. I'm 20 now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, old people. I'm a part of you guys now. <laughs> All right, this is getting kind of awkward. Uh, let, let's get over to the next website. Mr. Charles, the world's worst website ever. Doc, nigga. Um, imagine Hosanna1.com with the intentions of being a horrible website, but also wholesome. It's still extremely active. Okay, yeah, this website looks shit. As we can see, the owner tweets pretty frequently. I mean, tweets? I hate using this word, but it's a quirky website. You can play a background song and Gotham style by Outcast, the 8 bit version. You can get yeah, that shit got hard. Yo, that shit, that shit is hard. I'm about to go lie, that shit is hard. Yo, that shit is hard, that shit is hard, that shit is hard. I'm about to go lie, that shit is hard. Amazing colors, cool fonts, their favorite software, and Trump glitch, which is just making Trump fun glitch. of the way Donald Trump speaks. Everyone loves Donald Trump, and those that say they don't are just lies from the lamestream media, since Trump is the greatest person who ever lived, and we all should model our behavior after him. It is a sure, you're fired way of getting people to read what you say on your site. I guess that's the wrong site. That's not the real site. It's S-I-T-E, actually. I just realized how annoying I sounded saying that. Ew, look how smug I am in this clip. <laughs> Gross. Anyway, apology video coming out soon. Alright, so yeah, thanks for making it to the end of the video. It <laughs>